We're now nearly a week out from midterm elections, and we've got undecided races just about everywhere. Ten House races, the Georgia governor's race, the Arizona Senate race, and once again, it's Florida, Florida, Florida. Some of these races will be headed for a recount. Each state has different laws mandating their recounts. The vote tally typically needs to be within a certain percentage. In Florida, it's 0.5%. Sounds like a slim margin, right? Not in a race with millions of votes cast. And because of that, voters in the Sunshine State may experience some deja vu from 2000. The presidential contest between eventual winner George W. Bush and Al Gore went to a recount. The race grew closer, but Bush ultimately prevailed by just 537 votes. Fair Vote advocates electoral reform. Since 2000, they say there have been only 27 major recounts out of 4,687 statewide races. Only three results have changed. Back in 2000, it was the governor's race in Washington. Originally, Republican Dino Rossi beat Democrat Chris Gregoire by just over 260 votes. After three separate recounts, a state Supreme Court case, and a lawsuit by Republicans, Gregoire was declared the winner by less than 150 votes. A smaller election of the Vermont State Auditor back in 2006 triggered a recount after the auditor Randy Brock beat the Democrat Thomas Salmon by just 137 votes. After the recount, Salmon won by 102 votes. And most notably, in 2008, Senator Norm Coleman originally beat Democrat Al Franken by 206 votes. After six months, a recount, and a court battle, Franken won by 312 votes. So what do all these races have that the Florida ones don't? The number of people deciding those races could fit in a movie theater. In Florida, the Democrats leading the Ag Commissioner's race by 5,300 votes. Ron DeSantis is beating Andrew Gillum by 34,000 votes. And Rick Scott is beating Senator Bill Nelson by 12,500 votes. While these margins are enough to trigger a recount and Florida has more voters than any of these states, it would be unprecedented for any of these races to flip because of these large deficits. So let's talk about what could change it. All eyes will be on Broward County. It's a Democratic stronghold and the second largest county in Florida. The odd thing is, the county reported about 25,000 ballots were cast without a vote in the U.S. Senate race. There will be a machine recount of 700,000 ballots cast by mail during early voting and on Election Day. County election officials have until 3 p.m. Thursday to finish the machine recount.